Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is the second of five videos from my Now What series aimed at helping musicians navigate the landmines that come with making your passion into your business. Today's video covers an almost inevitable event in every band's life. Someone quit right before a show, and now you have to scramble to fill their spot or risk ruining your reputation, either by canceling or playing a bad gig. What to do? Well, never fear, Room Sixers. Uncle Josh is here to help. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so for some reason, you and some band members have parted ways right before your next show. Don't panic. Depending on certain factors, this doesn't have to be a catastrophe. First of all, when is the show? If it's this week, you might be, well, screwed, unless you're only playing standard cover songs. It's pretty unreasonable to expect someone to learn all original music in just a few days. This might be one time you cancel, if that's the case, but finding a replacement act will go a long ways toward maintaining a good relationship with the venue and with the booking agent. Second, what instrument did the missing person play? Is there someone in the group that can step in without losing an essential part of your sound? An example might be a rhythm guitarist stepping up to do lead guitar, or a backup singer becoming the lead singer. Third, do you happen to already know suitable replacements? If not, the internet is chock full of websites where musicians can network. If your need is not immediate, this may be your chance to find the perfect fit. Another option is hitting up bands that you've played other shows with. They'll know your sound and may have some ideas. Finally, it might be time to take an honest look at your group dynamic. Why did this person quit? Is now the time to disband? Might this be the end? Don't be so hasty. There are a host of bands on record that became famous after someone quit, including Tony Chapman from the Rolling Stones, Andy Nicholson from Arctic Monkeys, Bob Welch from Fleetwood Mac, Stephen Duffy from Duran Duran, Michael Dempsey from The Cure, Del Neal from The Killers, Dick Evans from U2, David Marks from The Beach Boys, Doug Sandum from The Who, and who can forget Pete Best from The Beatles. Whatever the situation you find yourself in, don't despair. How you handle this can determine the future of your band and the way you prepare for the unexpected in days to come. Stay safe, friends. Thanks for watching. I hope it was informative and that you learned something. If you want to see more videos like this, please click here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified of when, uh, you know, the next video pops. Remember to be amazing, stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.